talk about denominations. I found in Judges chapter 20, there were 400,000 foot soldiers who came before God as one man. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, around verse 10 and 11, the Apostle Paul said, Be of the same mind and the same judgment. We all need to say the same things. Ephesians chapter 1, around verse 3 says that, or chapter uh, 3, verse 1, I missed, chapter 4, verse 3, there it is, says that we need to endeavor to keep the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. And those three passages right there simply let us know that God wants unity. Unity. And, and I, you know, now some denominations might have started out with a good cause. But what we found out, denominations, I taught algebra now, and when, when you teach algebra and you learn about fractions, all I found was you got a numerator and a denominator, and all you could do with denominators is divide. You, that's all you can do with a denominator is divide, and that's what denominations have done. They've divided us up, and some people place their denominations above God, above, above, the, above everything, above their salvation. We're evangelizing one Saturday. I asked a young lady, I said, are you saved? She said, I'm Catholic. I said, I didn't ask you what denomination you were. I'm asking you, are you saved? See, so she's putting her denomination out front. And, and, and then another lady told me, she said, well, you know, I'm Baptist born, Baptist bred. When I die, I'll be Baptist dead. And I just had to say, you know, there's a whole lot of Baptists in hell. Because being Baptist, Presbyterian, Kojic, Lutheran, Pentecostal, all that kind of stuff don't save you. Jesus saves. So some people put their denomination above Jesus, their constitution above the word of God. And now some, some of you don't, but some people do. And that's what I'm addressing right now. We need to get off the denomination kick. So thank God for Christian centers. Thank God for Christian fellowship with that name at the end of their titles instead of uh, you know, Baptist and uh, AME Methodist and CME and all that kind of stuff. And Help us, Jesus. We got too many denominations and more just keep on coming out. And all they're doing is dividing us further. But we got to get back to in the scripture in Ephesians chapter 4. It tells us ministry gifts. Our purpose is to equip the saints for work of ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ till we all come to the unity of the faith. And there's only one faith and the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man to the measure and the stature of the fullness of Christ that we no longer be children tossed to and fro and so forth and so on. So we got to get back to just unity and harmony and, and leave the denominations out and, and don't look for churches because mama raised you up at Baptist or Presbyterian or Kojic or AME or CME or Lutheran or Presbyterian. Look for a church that teaches the word of God or bears witness with your spirit that this is the truth from God, the truth from the word of God. Let's cut, oh, come on. We don't need any more denominations and we don't need to push denominations anymore. Let's, put, let's propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. I just wanted to address those denominations. Let's stop that now.